This procedure assesses, in a semi-solid medium, the ability of hematopoietic progenitors to proliferate and differentiate along different hematopoietic lineages. To begin, culture freshly thawed CD34 positive cells in the presence of cytokines to promote activation. After two days, perform retroviral transduction of a GFP expressing test construct by adding the activated CD34 positive cells to a plate preloaded with virus. 48 hours later, isolate the GFP positive cells by fax. Then, plate these cells in semi solid methyl cellulose medium supplemented with growth factors. Incubate for approximately two weeks until colonies appear on the surface. Finally, harvest the colonies, immobilize the cells on slides using cytospin, and stain with right Giamza for microscopic determination of hematopoietic lineage and maturation stage. This method can provide mechanistic insight in studies of leukemogenesis, namely the effects of oncogenes on hematopoietic differentiation. In order to seed a culture, quickly thaw a vial of frozen CD34 positive cells at 37 degrees Celsius by gently shaking until a last small ice crystal is left, and transfer the cell suspension to a 50 milliliter conical tube. Gently rinse off the remaining cells from the vial with 1 milliliter of room temperature 2% FBS IMDM media and add it dropwise to the 50 milliliter tube while soiling gently. Now wait for 3 minutes. Continue by slowly adding 2 milliliters of media while mixing gently and again equilibrate for 3 minutes. Repeat this procedure of adding media of equal volume to the diluted cell suspension at 3 minute intervals, swirling gently in between additions until the final volume reaches 32 milliliters. To collect the cells, centrifuge at 250 G for 10 minutes at room temperature and remove the supernatant, leaving behind around 0.5 milliliter of media above the pellet. Proceed to wash the cells once by suspending the pellet in 20 milliliters of media and centrifuging at 200 G for 8 minutes at room temperature. Remove the supernatant and suspend the cells in complete IMDM medium at approximately half a million cells per milliliter. Finally, to determine cell concentration, take 10 microliters of the suspension into a microtube, mix with the same volume of 0.4% Tripan Blue solution, and count using a hemocytometer. Dilute the cells to 10 to the 5th cells per milliliter by adding complete IMDM medium supplemented with the mix of activating cytokines. Culture the cells in a humidified 37 degrees Celsius incubator with 5% carbon dioxide for two days. On the day of transduction, count cells before starting virus preloading to determine the number of wells to be prepared. In order to pre-coat a 24-well non-treated tissue culture plate, Add 400 microliters of 25 micrograms per milliliter retronectin solution to each well and incubate for two hours at room temperature in the laminar flow biosafety hood. Remove the retronectin solution and coat each well with 2% BSA by incubating for 30 minutes at room temperature. Meanwhile, thaw out the virus stock solutions and store on ice. Then, aspirate the BSA solution. Load virus by adding 0.5 milliliter of virus preparation to each well and centrifuge at 2,200 G at 4 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Remove the virus solution from the wells and repeat the virus loading three more times. Finally, rinse each well with cold IMDM medium. Now collect the pre-activated CD34 positive cells by centrifugation and resuspend the cells in fresh, complete IMDM medium supplemented with cytokines. Aliquot 0.15 million CD34 positive cells into each of the virus coated wells and incubate in a humidified 37 degrees Celsius incubator with 5% carbon dioxide for two days.
In order to harvest the transduced cells, gently but thoroughly suspend the cells from the virus-loaded plates and filter the suspension through a 50 micron cell filter into a conical tube. Take 10 microliters of the cell suspension into a microtube. Mix with an equal volume of tripan blue solution and count cells using a hemocytometer. Rinse each well with 0.8 milliliter of cold HBSS with 0.02% EDTA and add to the same collection tube through a 50 micron Celtrix cell filter. Pellet the cells by centrifugation and wash once with cold HBSS. Resuspend the final cell pellet in HBSS with 1% BSA and keep the cells on ice in the dark for subsequent cell sorting, which is typically performed at a high-speed cell sorter core facility. Based on experimental design, thaw out the required number of aliquots of CFC assay media. Vortex vigorously to mix and let the tube stand for at least five minutes to let bubbles rise to the surface before adding cells. Now take 3,000 virus transduced sorted cells into a sterile microtube containing cold 2% FBS IMDM media and adjust the final suspension volume to 0.3 milliliters. Suspend the cells and transfer the entire cell suspension to a 3 milliliter aliquot of methyl cult growth medium. Create a homogeneous cell suspension by vortexing vigorously. Let the tube stand still for 3 minutes. In order to plate the cells, attach a 16 gauge blunt end needle to a 3 milliliter syringe and draw up 2.2 milliliters, taking care to avoid uptake of large bubbles. Push out 1.1 milliliter each into two 30 millimeter non-treated tissue culture dishes and spread out the mixture evenly by rotating. Place duplicate plates in a 100 millimeter plate together with a water dish containing three milliliters of sterile water. Culture for two weeks. Characterize and score the colonies according to their morphology with an inverted microscope at 40x magnification in a culture dish marked with a scoring grid. In order to document the culture results, scan the entire CFC assay plate using a regular scanner at 600 dpi and take low power photomicrographs of representative colonies using an inverted microscope equipped with a color camera. For further analysis of differentiation and proliferation, cells from the entire CFC assay plate are recovered by suspending in several volumes of room temperature 2% FBS IMDM, washed and counted. For morphological analyses, transfer 30,000 cells that were recovered from CFC assay plates to a slide using a cytospin centrifuge. Air dry the slides overnight. To efficiently stain the slides, set up an assembly line of nine staining vessels containing solutions in the following order. Absolute methanol, right Giemsa stock solution, right Giemsa buffer, 50% methanol in water, two vessels of water, phosphate buffer pH 6, and finally two vessels of water. Place the slides into a slide carrier and dip in absolute methanol for two minutes and blot off excess methanol. Immediately dip the slide carrier in right Giemsa stock solution for five minutes. Transfer the carrier into right Giemsa buffer pH 6.4 and incubate for 10 minutes. Dip the carrier twice in 50% methanol, 10 times in water, and another 10 times in the next water vessel, and then 5 times in phosphate buffer pH 6.0. Transfer the carrier into water and incubate for two minutes. Repeat the wash in the last water vessel. Now allow the slides to air dry completely in the carrier. Remove each slide and wipe the back of the slide with methanol soaked Kim wipes to remove stains. Place a drop of Cytoseal 60 and a cover glass to seal. 
Perform a 500 cell differential count for each GAM sustained slide using a microscope. For the purposes of this experiment, cells are divided into five categories, primitive cells, intermediate myeloid cells, mature myeloid cells, intermediate erythroid cells, and mature erythroid cells. For example, when compared to control, expression of the NUP98 HOX-A9 oncogene increased the formation of red erythroid colonies. This marked impact of the oncogene is clearly evident when colonies are observed under low magnification. Further morphological examination by GAM sustaining provides information on the lineage and degree of maturation of the cell population. In this example, introduction of NUP98 HOX-A9 caused an overall increase in the numbers of cells with erythroid hyperplasia and inhibition of both erythroid and myeloid maturation. This essay provides insight into hematopoietic cell differentiation by measuring the ability of an input cell preparation to proliferate, differentiate, and form colonies in a semi-solid medium.